5 30 in the morning um we almost did not get up but i made dallas get up here's harvey he's ready to go are you ready to go mommy daddy gonna take you for a walk yep and then when we come home mommy and daddy gonna work out do this driving to my school for the last time it's been so drawn out the past couple days it was like the last week with students the last day with kids the last performance the graduation it's like so drawn out I'm like can I just get some closure on this and be done all right I am officially done I turned in my keys <sighs> I was really weird. I just walked through the halls for the last time and um, took a peek at my classroom for the last time. It's so weird. I just like, I can't explain it. I've had some of the most amazing years of my life teaching, but it is time for me to move on and I'm proud of myself. I didn't cry. It's just the start of a new adventure and I'm just going to take this time to soak in how I'm feeling right now and just it, it's just whew, it's over now now to be a full time girl boss and stay at home dog mom so I just got home from flowers here but I'm like I don't know who it could be there's only like two people that probably it could be so I'm really curious to see I never get flowers it's so exciting let's see oh I'm so proud of you for taking this leap of faith I know the end of the school year has been tough but you're gonna be so kick ass running queen bee 24 7 here's the new beginnings bestie love you Ashley oh my gosh I never get flowers. This was such a sweet surprise. Ashley, you're making me cry. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. So Ashley and I met on Instagram. We met through making signs together and just got to chatting and we just had so much in common and had similar experiences along our journey. And I'm so glad that I met her. She's like really become one of my best friends and I just love her so much. And I feel so thankful to know her because she really just, she just gets me. And I like to think that, she, you know, she feels the same way about me. So she's just such an amazing person and I'm so thankful for her. And she sent me the prettiest flowers today. Oh my gosh, I love them girl. Thank you. Harvey. Hi, Harvey. All right, I got you guys checked in. Thank you. You're welcome. You are doing super, though, sweetie. You're pretty darn brave. <laughs> you are. Your acupuncture, it's, it's one of those things, especially when you've got long standing dysfunction there. You are not likely to see, you know, real significance or change in the short term. The the goal is that as it accumulates and as you start getting healing, that you know, a goal usually for a for a session with something like this, I would hope that we would start seeing some improvement. You are certainly could it very be also interested. helping him not be in as much discomfort as Absolutely. well because I said it's like I was trying to explain to him like even though we might not be seeing the changes he might be feeling better or having less oh, yeah. discomfort and it could and he be can't tell us <laughs> right and that's the, I mean that's the challenge with these guys is that especially a dog like this I mean that you know those changes didn't just happen you know he's been he's been dealing with them for a very long time 
And that means that, you know, he's just accustomed to, to dealing with them. Pain threshold is, is, you know, probably very high in the sense that he doesn't really let on that he's feeling, feeling very much. But there's probably a lot more discomfort than what he lets on. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it may not, you know, sometimes it may not be as obvious that, wow, he's jumping up and running around and doing great, but sometimes it's as simple as, oh, we're a little brighter, or we sleep better, or we're just, you know, our face, we look happier, <laughs> or more engaged. Uh, the goal, a lot of times with acupuncture, is you get a little sleep sometimes afterwards, you get like some endorphin release. So, uh, you know, you kind of monitor, see what he does when you guys get him home. But uh, if you do notice that he's goes home and sleeps a little soundly this afternoon, more soundly than normal, <laughs> that's entirely normal and a good thing. So uh, let us know that. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> perfect. So usually we'll sit for about 15 to 20 okay. minutes. Um, you know, baby's thing, we, and sometimes we'll get up and shake. It seems like he's going to be fine, but he probably doesn't want to get up anyways. But, uh, but yeah, we try to keep them as still as we can, okay. just to minimize, minimize the chance of the... We won't move then. I'll down the lights a little bit and yeah. just let you chill. Just for that. Uh, we'll come back in another if you're soon or not. Okay. Uh, check on you shortly. Thank okay. you. Right. Sounds good. <laughs>